we're going to do a little test here to see how much good it does to put a super large charge wire from the alternator to the battery. Now, the original, ba uh, the original charge wire is still in place on this car. And what we're going to do is we're going to start the car. Uh, the battery is in a fairly low state of charge because, as you can see here, it's sitting at 2.26. Uh, with no real load on it, so that means it's not in great shape. So as soon as the car starts, it's going to have to do a fair amount of charging. Uh, and uh, what I've done to make this really remove all doubt, uh, on the end of the alternator stud, I have put a uh, adapter here with a huge piece of copper uh, stranded wire, so it makes it real, really good joint for the big jumper cable to get a grip on. The jumper cable is a one gauge, I mean one, one alt, one uh, and uh, it has solid brass uh, connectors on each end. Show them that. Okay, so this is a very substantial connection. There's the other connection on the other end. Uh, and uh, I've got two meters here. One is an amp meter right here, and it reads, uh, reads directly in, in uh, amps. So we're going to uh, show the amperage through the additional wire and the battery voltage, which now that he's turned the ignition key on but not started the engine, it's drawn it down even more. So we'll have a fair amount of charge current. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to disconnect this additional wire. And we're going to go ahead and start the car. And we'll see what the battery voltage does. And then I'll start connecting and unconnecting and we'll see how much additional current actually goes through this other wire. Uh, and uh, by the way, this thing is almost as big as a garden hose here. And it's a really nice set of jumper cables. I've had them for quite a while. And I think 20 years ago they cost me $400. So they're good ones. Jim, go ahead and start the car. This is the charge voltage at the battery without without anything being changed. This is the factory wire here. It's reading about 14.3 uh, uh, 14.3 volts. Okay. Now I'm going to connect this this here, and we'll see the additional increase and the amount of current. So 10 additional amps are being supplied by this wire, which is enormous. But it's made very little change in the actual battery voltage. And this is a, a worst case condition here. Go ahead and uh, turn your headlights on, Jim. And fan. Huh? And fan. And the fan. Now we're going to do an absolute worst case. We're going to turn the high beams on and the fan, which are the two things in the car that draw more current than anything else. Okay. Now, the additional current supplied because of this huge wire in parallel with the original wire, in this case right here is 25 amps. The battery voltage is 14.2. And uh, in this case right here, we're drawing a, an awful lot of current. Now I'm going to disconnect this. We'll see how far down it goes. Okay, it goes down about a tenth of a volt to 14.1. And we connect it once again goes to uh, 14, 14.2 ish. I take it off, goes to about 14.1. I put it back on, it goes to about 14.2 almost. Can you read those in the, in the video, Eric? Can you see them clearly? back on and it's like hanging around to go 
goes up by a couple of cans or something like that. Okay, now, uh, Jim, reach over there and put your motor on fast idle. Just, just not real fast, just, just enough to help the alternator out a little bit here. Okay, now it's fast idle. The, the voltage is going up. And we got 14.2 volts. And now we got 14.1. With and without the one the one off wire being uh, being connected and disconnected. Now, the current being supplied, let's see, let me put this on a fixed range. Got this alternator here on a on a uh, alternator tester, and uh, the auto scale on this thing was jumping around in the last video there, and so it was kind of giving erroneous readings. So I've got it fixed now, so that you can see that when the, the alternator's putting out like 50 amps, this reached 49, so we're within an amp here of, of being correct. And when the alternator's putting out, uh, let's see. And 110 amps according to that meter. It's 108 according to this one. So we're real close here. And it's on a fixed scale, so it won't be jumping around there. So we'll go back. So we'll go back here and uh, we'll, we'll compare this uh, current reading again. I'm done logging. Yeah, that's okay. okay. I've I just want to show this. Okay. All right. Now, can you get these? Start it one more time, Jim. Lights and fan. Yeah, lights and fan. Okay. Now, the batteries, uh, he's getting ready to start the car. The battery's in a little better shape right now because it's car.